Hey guys, welcome to a random Monday live. Uh, Zeb and I are both a little bit under the weather, so we're not leaving the I'd house today. I'd say a lot of bit under the weather. Like yeah. The weather is crashing down on us. If that's But the sun the is term. shining. The sun is shining. And what do we do when we're stuck at home because we don't want to spread germs? We paint stuff. And we have um, a ton of things from our Saturday thrift haul that need to be painted. So we decided to do another paint a palooza. That way we can get it all done. We can talk to you guys. Um, and Zeb doesn't have to edit a video and we could just go sleep the rest of the day. So that's Editing the plan. Editing videos is great. I actually really enjoy it most of the time, but it's really hard to focus like staring at the screen and listening to sound when all your sinuses are plugged up and you just want to go lay in bed. You got like a sinus <laughs> headache. Uh, but anyway, that's enough about us. Let's get this stuff painted. This is the, the ch I don't even know what to call it. I was going to say chest of drawers, but it's obviously not that. A tower it's, of it's drawers. tower of drawers. It's the tower of power. It's, it was painted. It was yellow originally. Jamie picked it up. How much was this? Like 10 bucks? Um, yeah, $10. A lot of people were not happy about the $10, like the, the yellow paint job being fit, like painted over. But I think it's so much better in the weathered wood. It's not waxed yet. So we'll wax that we today. Um, yeah, I have clear wax out, but let's get everything painted and then we'll get to that. Okay, I'm gonna set it aside because it's okay. huge. All of these, that's actually the most expensive item. Everything else on here that's left on the table besides that is $5 and under. So really inexpensive thrift flips. And we're going to get things started with making our molds first that need to be done. I'm gonna start painting. Here, why don't you just start, I don't know, are you going all one color with these? Um. No, because so that let's quick. arrange these dark and light. So dark stuff is going to go light colored. Light stuff is going to go dark colored. So I need the white candlestick. Okay. And then that can go over here. Would this fall under the light category? It's like a greenish gray. Yes. Okay. All right. So I'll put that over there. What about can the you... birds? You want to paint the birds at the same time since they're yeah. light? So this is what we do. We divide things up and we paint things all one color. I always like to go dark on things that are light so that way when i wet the stress there's a good contrast this is getting a mold on it okay and if you got do you guys remember this on saturday this had the bears on it so i chiseled those off i just used the regular like one inch chisel and they popped off pretty well and they were they were also stapled on but this one was glued so well it popped off some of the plywood so i just had i just did like a heavy sand like some 80 sand smooth on the back there. Now we just got to cover that heart. So did we decide, decide pig or sheep? I think the pig because it's a little shorter and it'll fit down over the okay. heart. Situation. It has to be yeah. resin because clay would just push through the hole. So he's going to pour me a pig. Um, Where's my gloves? And going? then I think all the rest can be done with paper clay unless you want to do the snowflake for this with resin. Or do you want to do, what do you want to do? Um, we'll see. We'll see where I get around to. Let, okay. Let's do the pig first and see how that okay. fits on there. If that doesn't work, we're going to have to uh, go back to the drawing board, maybe do one of the big frames and some decoupage or something. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way so you guys can watch me paint. I'm going to take my sweater off because I think you turned the heater up. Um, I did not, but the sun is shining. And while the thermostat is like, hey, it's uh, 68 degrees in here and turns the heater on, um, the sun will make it feel warmer. All right, for dark colors, then. I and you might just have, be running a fever. I don't know. <laughs> I pretty much just have weathered wood because Salty Kiss is somewhere in the middle, and then I have French millinery. So, so weathered wood or sea glass? I would do weathered wood on these, and then we could maybe even white wax them at the end. Okay. Make them look like cement like we like to do. And I know we get told all the time, you guys only paint with the same colors. Like some, Jamie's like, what color should I paint this the other day? Magenta. And someone was like, doesn't matter what we say, you're going to use the same colors anyway. It always looks different, even though we use okay. the same colors, because we're painting over different colors. Like this with the yellow peeking through looks different than lots of other pieces. So. You know, well, I'm gonna start we stick with, with what works for us. With sea glass, I'll just get this done. This is just a $1 rolling pin. Oh, those are going to be fun. And I want to paint it up super cute. I like to use bright colors on my rolling pin handles. So I'm just going to paint this with sea glass. And I always like to use a little brush because it makes it so much easier to be neat. Anybody else struggle with being a neat painter? I'm always slightly messy. I think, I think we use lots of different colors, but what happens is it all ends up being like fairly cohesive because we keep it in the same family for the most part. And so it looks a lot the same. And if you're not seeing every single video, then you're going to be like, oh, they painted that same green Well, color I also will 
as things sell, I will add that color back. So some of the things, some colors just sell better than others. And so I have to paint things that color to keep a nice balance in the shop. We did a live shop tour last week. So if you missed that, it's up on Facebook and YouTube. Check that out. We're going to hopefully, if we're feeling better tomorrow, if not Thursday. Probably Thursday. Um, we'll go live again. We just don't want to be in the shop when we're under the weather. So We're avoiding people. We're avoiding people. We, uh, my, we have a child with a banquet today that we're actually missing because I don't want to go to the banquet with a stuffy nose. Oh, I need something to stir this with. I've got to get better because it's a state championship game. Friday. On Friday. And Caitlin's not here, so she might pop in because she doesn't. My mom has an air infection. She's not talking with her. But if you have questions or need links, I will try to do that in between painting. And if I don't catch them while we're live, Deb and I will go back through. What usually happens is she paints, 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 and then she'll go look once stuff's dry. Yeah. So just no, it's not a regularly scheduled live. So Caitlin's not. Yeah, Caitlin is out and about doing stuff. She's do well, I be sick too. So Caitlin went and picked up bubble wrap. It's really just kind of hitting Utah yeah, like hard. Like I feel like through. most of Utah has a pretty yeah. serious cold right now. Look how cute that is. I'll let that dry. It's only one coat. It didn't have a sealer on it, so it covered really good. All I have to do is distress that and seal these, and these are ready to go. Bye, Odelia. See you when you All right. Pig yeah. pig is poured. This is oh, the my, my? village market. Where's my my mic. I don't know. Where did you go with your mic? I oh, gave it. To... <laughs> it was on her sweater and she pulled that off. Did they hear anything that I said? I don't know. When did you take the sweater off? I don't even know when you took the sweater off. Hopefully this mic was catching you a little bit. What I was saying <laughs> is Caitlin's not here. So um, she, I will be trying to respond to things. Also, I just said, ta-da, this is all finished. Hey, what happened to this piece? You already pulled it off. What? You pulled it off too soon. I was going to pull it off on camera. Oh, I took so it off. So this had some detail here that was molded on there. And one side was missing when we got it from the thrift store. I actually got a little bit of a discount for that. I didn't even ask for it. The checker just was We're like, Where's said they go. could hear me. Okay, good. I have a loud voice, but I have like. We try to project pretty well. Jamie does has done a lot of public speaking. And, you know, I just have, I'm loud in general. So. I was the one who always got in trouble at school for being loud. Because my voice carries. Everybody else was talking, but Jamie got in trouble. I mean, I was talking too. It happens to our kids as well. They have the same problem. I'm like, guys, if there's tone in your voice, if you can feel vibration, you're not being very quiet. <laughs> like <laughs> right now, none of them know how to whisper. <laughs> no. Right now my voice is a little froggy because I have like a gallon of snot going down the back of my throat. A whole gallon. I don't know if it's a gallon. Did you get that at Costco? Shush. Oh, guys, um, by the way, paintbrushes are, we're starting our Black Friday sales. Paintbrushes are 20% off if you order two or more. And that includes our stencil brushes, Worcester, Zebra, and our Klingon brushes. So free shipping, order two or more. You have to spend at least 10 bucks to get free shipping, but wanted to throw that out there. That just started today. All right, now to decide what mold to do on these details here. I'm going to have to turn this around and look at it for a second while this pig dries. We're going to move. And everything can be purchased up. at jamierayvintage.com. I'll drop that link. That's kind of like a universal. It'll oh, Karen has a cold too. Oh, sorry, sorry Karen. Karen. That's a bummer. Colds are not fun. It happens to me at least once a winter. It's or It feels early this year. Usually I get a bad cold in like January. But, oh well. Maybe we'll get a double dose of the colds this year. Yeah, I think there's just new viruses roaming around. We got it. We're going to have to be dedicated to our vitamin C and our zinc. I think it could be a lot worse. So there's that. So I was going to do these, but I feel like they're going to be too big. I think I will just do these details here because they match and just kind of shape them before the plastic hardens. And this is the olive crest mold. Been using it a ton lately. It's got some really great details and great for making wreaths. It's got this little plaque in the middle. It's just really good elements on this mold. So these little um, rooster and hen set that I'm painting here will get a white dry brush to bring out the detail. That's always really a popular finish. 
because when you paint them gray, it kind of makes them blah, but this is just a background color. So we've been using a lot of resin lately. We also like to use the air dry clay, but it seems like we're just in a hurry a lot lately. So the resin has been really handy, I guess. It is, if you have a, it is a not all natural. There are chemicals in it. So a lot of people don't prefer to use it for that reason. So just keep that in mind. It's not like crazy, but some people are really sensitive to any kind of smells. And like our paint, like DIY paint and cottage colors is all, all natural. natural. So any of our paints are fine. Am I planning to carry the new DIY brushes? Um, I think Debbie would disown me if I did not. We've been holding out, waiting for her to come out with these for, I don't want to say a year, but it's been a year. Yeah, I do. Like we carry she's the- She's so busy though. She's like, a, she's always running around. I carry the Wooster brushes and I'm not going to carry the Woosters anymore. So once we sell out to our retailers and to our customers, I'm going to replace that line of brushes with Debbie's brushes. It's really good timing because I was planning on stopping. So if you want the Wooster brushes, if you like their foam brushes or their little, um, what's their little short, shortcut brush, definitely pick those up while they're on sale. Because once we sell out, I'm not going to replace them because you can only have so many products that you store and sell. And so because I'm going to carry Debbie's brushes, I'm going to replace that whole line. Jamie is the old number 18 brush a half inch you know what i don't remember but either half or three quarters i would guess i haven't used the old brushes in so long i think the 20 is an inch and a quarter so probably yeah it's probably safe to say that because i didn't i wasn't in charge of the sizing or or naming them and that that came from our old manufacturer so i don't know how they were doing it so i had a lot of extra resin i thought it was gonna all be the enough. brushes we had before have all since hit the dust pretty much. So yeah. I don't even have any to like check and see. All right. So I thought I'd made just enough to pour these, but I had extra. So I poured this element and two of these and two oh, of these Oh, don't forget elements. we have a face that we had to remember. I brought that out because we got to pour that. Oh, yes. So we sell a couple of appliques on the website, this face and then a little girl with a lamb. I'm they're custom. And I brought it out because we just sold one. I don't think I have enough to make this. This takes a lot. <laughs> We'll have to pick some up from the shop. I might have more under there. I'll go dig for it in a minute, or if I got to go chase something, I'll try to remember. Okay, okay I'm going to push this out to the side. The pig is drying nicely. It's still the feet have to dry. So the thicker and bigger your pour, the faster the chemical reaction. I can actually feel that this is pretty warm underneath the mold um, because this pig was enough resin that it reacted really quickly. So your little ends will dry slower. Like your, this little curly Q tail and the feet and the ear will not harden as quickly because the reaction is not as strong out there towards the edges. So we'll give us a few more minutes. Kim, that's a hard one. She says of all your brushes on sale, what, what are two would you recommend? Ooh, I, I would go with at least Oh, round brush and a brush. stencil brush. This brush here is like ovally, and you can get away with a lot of I don't even know stuff. what this is because it's painted it's over. It's so painted. It's, I think it's like the 20. Hold on. F30. It's the F30. Okay, there you go. Um, and then also, I would get a stencil brush because a stencil brush can be used for stenciling or waxing. If you have wax on it, you really got to clean that out before you stencil it. But we that use would them be for what both I would say. Interchangeably, and they wash out well um let's see tracy says that mic on her my neck would drive her crazy it doesn't bother me it's like a little kitty as long as you guys can hear me that's what's important sometimes as a as a performer you gotta do what you gotta do i would not want to put it on my arm because i feel like it would bump up against stuff. are you a performer i am performing now okay i'm performing I'm my thinking of trick. what my next step needs to be um what are you doing with this um, I am putting that pig on it and then it's getting painted, but oh, I don't so, know what okay, color. So we're waiting on the pig. I think it's legs. I might have to whack off its hooves. No, because the belly goes down. I think. I think it's going to be too tall. We will see. What do you want to wager? What do you um, want to wager? We're trying to cover up this I feel like you already part. lost a bet with me once and have not. No, I'm, I paid up. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. I rubbed your shoulder the other night for like. It was, I, was I counted. A, that it was, was like free, 500 pushes. That was like a free shoulder rub. <laughs> that one was freebie. Didn't know. Um, good, I, good will, I will bet you. 
I will bet you a foot rub. Okay. That the pig will work. All right. I'll make it work. <clears throat> Can you show us someday how to make a custom mold? We have a video, right, on how uh, to have, use two we parts. We have a bunch of videos, yeah. So Let me see if I can find it real quick. I don't know what the link would be. If you search, uh, it's hard because we do things with, it's going to bring up all the IOD mold videos, too, when you search mold. Okay. Um, but, yeah, we have, a, I think we have more a couple videos because we sell the, the putty. Um, it's uh, Amazing Mold Putty is what it's called on the website. I can find the link. I will drop it. All right. Hey, I'm Mariah. Mariah, Mariah. Do you want me to paint this? What are we doing with this? I've been sitting here. That's when we made now. that big mold. Let's see. Just see if I can find it real quick. Well, we did this one. This one's old school. Yeah, we, we have did some... these silicone mold making. So the older videos are going to be very in depth. It was before I was like. So Let if me you just really sure want to know right. all the little ins and outs, watch an older video because I didn't cut much out. <laughs> oh, um, we just have two appliques that we sell. One is like a, a lady's face um, that we pulled off an antique piece that we got in England. And the other is? one is a little girl with a sheep. We just have two that we sell on the website. Somebody asked if I could repeat that. Let me skip the ads. Oh, yeah, this is two part. All right, that'll work. Now I got to figure out how to share it here. Who asked? All right, Doo -doo -doo. So this is that ceiling tile or ceiling tin, however you. Was it on Facebook or? Jamie, do you want to go? We don't want to go dark on, on this, YouTube. do we? What? Do you want to go dark on this? What you, color? I, you Are can, you going to go You can neutral? do whatever you want. All right. I'm just going to drop the link for that mold, the how to make a mold on YouTube because that's where the question was. I don't know how to do it on StreamYard. Oh, you could have just airdropped it to the laptop. That sounds complicated. All right, Kim, I just dropped that link for you. Have you noticed all the Facebook ads during lives? I don't watch that many lives. I watch Dion and Debbie. So we have no control over Facebook ads as far as like where the placement of them go. We can just say yes, ads on there or no, ads not. So unfortunately, you and I are both watching all of the ads. Yeah, You can also, if we go live, the only time we go live just on Facebook is like if we do a shop tour and it's not regularly scheduled and we're doing it on our phone and then we upload it to YouTube later. So YouTube might be a better option to catch us on if you want less ads, but I know that they sometimes have ads too. We do act, we do make them monetized because that's how we make some of our living, but on YouTube, we can sometimes change them around. Yeah, YouTube will let me control a little bit of where I put this stuff. All right, so this is French millinery and DIY. I'm probably gonna either we do a lot of white wax over French millinery. I want to maybe try a dark wax on it, but we are leaving the top. Well, oh, that's pretty. This wood. So I'm not, I don't know exactly where I think I'm white go wax with. is my jam. But you mean you. This you, is why all our colors end up looking the same because we white wax them. No, I haven't used white wax in forever. Actually, you haven't. It's been somebody a lot of dark. Somebody was just telling me the other day they missed it. A, See? It's been a lot of dark wax lately. Okay, so somebody had a question on food safe. Um, Tracy, will shipping be adjusted after purchase? Um, if you add anything else onto your order, and it's that could be why shipping is being charged. So, like if you're ordering DIY paint, there's going to be shipping on that. Yep, DIY paint. So it won't be adjusted after shipping. purchase. If you're just ordering paint brushes, those should all be free shipping. What was I going to say? Oh, sorry, squirrel moment. Um, food safe paint. So DIY paint has not been bio certified to be food safe, although I'm pretty sure it's pretty food safe, but I cannot say with a surety, but the sweet pickets, milk paint, farmhouse finishes, and the hemp oil that we sell are all food safe. And we do have a video and how to make are... a food safe stain. And we show you how to use hemp oil and sweet pickets, milk paint to make a stain that is food safe. And they and have the bio certification too. So yeah. So legally, we can tell you that the milk paint and the hemp oil are food safe. 
Oh, just the appliques. Yes, the appliques are not um, free shipping on those. So that would probably be why that's ringing that up. So if you go with just brushes, you will get free shipping. All right. Yeah. I'll, How I much see. is the feather? Um, $16.95, I think. I pulled off the price tag. Where did you put it? I think it's this one. I don't know what I called it, though. So, I think I called it a leaf. So, so, <laughs> so something with a lot of detail like this, you'll notice I'm kind of like all willy-nilly with the brush over here. This paint's going to dry flat. And then once I get the paint on there, I come back and kind of smooth out all the craziness. Linda, I'm going to drop the link on the Facebook Live. Oh, my goodness. I got two lives going on my phone. <laughs> see if I can figure this out. There we go. All right, Linda. Listen, Linda, it's coming at you. <laughs> Decoratively. So <laughs> when I'm sick, I feel like I get slap happy. All right. All right. Sent that on Facebook. It is $16.95. So if you do want it, I'm going to put it over here, Linda. And then I'll see if it gets paid for by the time I get done with all the rest of that stuff. Because I got to finish it. If it doesn't get paid for, I got to finish it because this is the only time we have this week. We've got another a uh, football game on Friday that pretty much takes our whole day up when we go do that. So we will pre-record Friday's video that goes up probably Thursday. Well, it's up at the state championship game is up at Rice Eccles Stadium, which is where the University of Utah plays. And it's a huge stadium. I think they can fit like 50 or 60,000 people in there. So it's fun. The kids love it. Our boys, we like to take the Redrick and Jack up there with us. Eliza goes and she stands in the student section with all her friends and cheers like crazy while Redrick will actually be at his football tournament. He's missing oh, finals. That's true. He's actually like, I think I messed up, mom. I should have stayed. I'm like, and well. it should be a really good game. We we blew out Stansbury, which to Stansbury's credit, they're in a they're a really good team, but Lehigh's just at another level this year. Um, but we so it was semifinals last week. And Stansbury was undefeated, and we were undefeated, and Lehigh beat Stansbury 42 to nothing. So it was kind of like by halftime, we were kind of like, oh, well, here we go again. It was not a very eventful game. But, JV got put in. We were still winning. But we're playing Timpview, which they are in our division. And they're hot. They're and so And they good. are every bit as good as we are, so it should be a really good Well, I mean, game. we're slightly better because we're undefeated. We did beat them in the regular season, but it was 28 to 24, and they yeah. led for half the game. Yeah, they that's true. Ahead. They gave us a run for money. Um, Zeb is using French Millinery by DIY Paint. <laughs> we're talking football, guys. Sorry, somebody asked. <laughs> yeah, the French Millinery, it's like a really great kind of soft purple. It's not in your face. If you white wax it, it can almost look like gray. Oh, we still got a sticker over here. <laughs> There's like 52 stickers. They really price tag these things up lately. Well, that's because they don't want them to fall off. And still, I find things without price tags. I think tags. the trouble they're having is people are starting to be like, oh, this is a buck. And they'll snag a dollar price tag and throw it on. Listen, we shop at the church's thrift store. And I would dollar. never do that because I ain't stealing from Jesus. No. And all, all the money this, goes to charity. All this money goes to charity or for rehabilitation projects, uh, job placement, like all kinds of stuff. It, all right. the, the thrift store does such good work. Okay, all my gray stuff is painted. So I'm going to move to a different color. I think I'm going to flip this up because I don't want to get that all over my not gray stuff. Okay, Linda's going to purchase that online. Okay, perfect. I will leave that there so it doesn't accidentally get painted. And I'm going to move this over because I think I me might need to second coat this. And the reason being is because this was spray painted white super shiny and so it doesn't hold the paint as well so if i let it dry completely i can add a second coat but i also might just wet distress it and work with it if you wanted full coverage though you definitely would need two coats i'm going to take this over to the table let it sit and dry so we've got some room to work oh deborah's having lunch how are the kiddos my sister is a uh, a librarian and art teacher so she gets to deal with kiddos all the time in the elementary school. Polari mom says that color looks like black raspberry ice cream. Oh, that sounds uh, good. Yeah, it does have kind of a, that kind of color. All right, my, my piggy is dry here. I think my mom might bring us lunch. Oh, that would be awesome. I know. Okay, drum roll if you please. 
I think I'm right. What? I think I just won a foot rub. All right, hold on. <laughs> let's hold on. see. Okay, let's see if this little piggy fits. It doesn't fit on the top or the bottom. Mm. Then better make me a sheep. The sheep's not going to fit either. Same, same well, problem. Well, we can cut the feet off. I am not cutting the feet off the sheep. You can put the sheep on there and put some flowers underneath it. How about we do this? I'll pour one of the frames molds. We'll put that on. It'll definitely fill up this hole, and then we'll bake a bunch. I'm wrong, and I have to rub your feet. Oh, it's a tough day to be a Jamie right now. I mean, that would be cool if we could somehow right. fill that gap in the bottom there. Okay, get the frames mold. Actually, the olive crest, somebody recommended that. Is that going to work? No, it's too small as well, I think. It's like just slightly it's, too small. Yeah, this heart's really taking up a lot of real I, the estate. The cameo molds don't go horizontal really well, but you're right. The frames mold will, and then we'll decoupage something cute Hopefully, in the middle. now I do have to dig for some more resin. Let's hope I have some. What color? You, did you want to stencil this? Uh, yeah, go light. I'll stencil it dark. Do we have... I have white linen. It might. Yeah, that'll work. If you use the cottage color... Make sure you shake it because it has a built-in sealer so it separates. If you're used to DIY paint, you never have to shake that. But that's because that one doesn't have a sealer built in. Oh, we got this box that got damaged in shipping. So let's see what... <laughs> oh, no. That's only got... Sylvia says, if you ever need a cheap drop cloth, she buys shower curtains at the dollar store. Ooh. That's brilliant. This right. brush holds so much paint. So. Definitely need two oh. coats on this because it's shiny. And we I'm might, it white. What? We might have to go air dry clay on that. You don't have any more resin? Well, it's hard to say. It's kind of a mess over there. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Oh, you know what? I have the entire shipment in the back of the Jeep. Oh, go grab some. Wait, I found two more jars. Oh, you found some? Okay. No, I'm good. I'm good. So we, had we a bunch didn't that got change damaged. our address for our wholesaler for our resin. And I got a call, or a call from my friend who's at the old space. And she's like, you have two boxes here. And I sent Cooper and Odelia to pick those up um, Saturday, I think. And sure enough, it was a Lumalite. So I have... I've got, I've got resin in the back of my car, but we always, we have a lot of boxes here because if any of them like get damaged in shipment, that's the stuff that we get. Yeah. We always use all the damage. Ain't nobody going to waste it. In fact, I have a whole bunch of paint. This one's brand new. I it looks like it got, go grab from the shop. this one leaked a little, which is probably why it ended up yeah. with us. Yeah. Quite a bit of leaking. That's okay. It'll Cynthia said me. she liked the mid-century modern candlestick. She should have bought it so it could stay as is. You should have bought it. It got painted. It actually it, isn't. Cynthia. Isn't. I mean, it might be MCM in style, but it's not old. It's from like one of the home decor stores. Zeb has a plan for it. So which one? That one. Oh yeah. Um, and it's not. It's not that old at all. Is that what you were just telling him? Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh. I got to grab pliers. I'll be right oh, back. Oh, hey, Coop. Aren't you at school, Cooper? He said it was Friday. Saturday was the dance. That is true. If you guys didn't check out stories, Cooper and Odelia were Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, and it was dang cute. They DIY'd their own Sadie's costumes. Or maybe it's lunchtime. Yeah, that's probably why Cooper's on here. Cynthia says it makes her feel better that's not actually old. If it was legit old, I probably wouldn't have painted. Well, I don't know. We paint mid-century modern all the time, so don't say that. <laughs> oh, Cooper says he doesn't have a fourth period, so he's chilling in bed for the time being. Oh, that sounds awesome. Waiting for football practice to start. <laughs> um, what brushes are on sale? All of the brushes are on sale if you buy two or more. Um, no code needed and free shipping. We try to do no code needed as often as possible because it just makes everything easier and you don't accidentally forget to get the sale. Um, but Caitlin took care of that this morning. Yeah, we're, we're doing a few sales leading up to Black Friday and then we've got some fun stuff planned for that. Did we glue this back on? No. Different various things. Uh, yeah, somewhere. 
All right, I'm gonna move that over there. I'll just wood glue that. I have okay. that outside. I'll go get that outside okay. in a sec. Let me pour this. I I went over there and I forgot to grab the frames. Mold. What brush is that again? This one is the R20. This is a big mamma jamma. It holds a lot of paint. I think I might have to do this big frame here. Oh no, that's gonna be too big to fit in there. Is there not one that'll work? I don't want the big. The dogs are barking at the Amazon room. No, they're incessant. Oh, we're wearing mics, so. Cody, you probably won't hear the dogs, but Cody is relentless. Like once he gets started barking, he does not self-correct and it drives me crazy. Like he sometimes, just goes and goes and goes. Sometimes Rex will start kind of nipping at him to get him to shut up because he doesn't like to get in trouble and he knows. Rex, Rex is like, dude, you're going to get Rex is trouble. like, follow the rules. Follow the rules, Cody. And Cody's like, I'm little. I can do what I want. I mean, that's what he would say if he could talk. Let's see. Oh, Cynthia said she just put two pumpkin pies in the oven, testing out oh, the pumpkin delicious. pie filling she canned. We still have not canned any pumpkin pie filling yet, but it's my pumpkins are ready for pressuring. I have to have apple and peach pie done. Normally we eat out on Thanksgiving because as a retail business, we are so busy that week. But between Eliza's, dairy allergy and zeb's food needs it would not be fair to them because they'd be limit what they could have oh so, man i would probably just eat it's thanksgiving you probably just eat so this year we're cooking at home i actually had a nightmare that i forgot to buy a turkey or a ham jamie i don't like turkey. as she cooks like the most amazing thanksgivings though so it's really everybody's winning here harrington will be happy because he always complains that i don't cook I know how he's weirdly traditional. He's like, I can't believe you're going out to eat on Thanksgiving. I'm like, they're there. They're they're work. They agreed to work. <laughs> they're making like, oh, did it sell already? Sorry. Hold on. What sell? Oh, shoot. Linda, it looks like that was already sold. And I shared the link and got your hopes up. Sorry about that, Linda. Things sell faster than I can catch them. Or someone snuck in and grabbed it. <laughs> Yep. Let me just double check and make sure I didn't mess up the inventory that it did have an order. Yes, it's sold. Sorry about that. That's if I bad. find another leaf, Linda, I'll let you know. Am I going to make tamales this year? Yeah. That's, you know, that's we like always years. make tamales because by the time Christmas Eve rolls around, we're usually like out of extraneous cash. And so it's a tradition that we take whatever meat is in the freezer it really doesn't matter and you cook the crap out of it season it all to heck and you make the marlis and they cost next to nothing to make if you know what you're doing and they're so expensive to buy and i only make them once a year so my kids are always excited about it and the reason that it's kind of tradition is because i grew up next to the border rob probably already knows this because he's followed us for a while but um i grew up next to the border and part of the posada is usually everybody gets together and has a party after they do the whole going from house to house trying to find um joseph and mary a room and we did that every year at school in hentamales so i pass that tradition on to my very gringo children <laughs> and they don't care they're just happy to have the food because it's yummy and i'm not perfect at making them but they also don't know any better so they taste better. they taste good zeb doesn't like it because sometimes tamales can be dry and i make my own masa and so it's not dry all right I'm done painting all my things. I need a little more resin in this. We will bring this little bear situation home. The bears. We will get it finished. Is there anywhere you can read our life story? We actually have been working on a book, but when we started working on the house and the church renovation project, that kind of halted. I have like eight chapters written and we yeah. probably need to go back through and like amend some things and write some new chapters because it was kind of out of order. So I will hopefully in the 2023 will be the year that we will sit down. I'm good at like talking through the stories and Zeb's much better English. So maybe together we can get it done. <laughs> I don't know about that. Any more Grammarly? I like to make pumpkin butter. I've never had pumpkin butter. Kathleen, is that something you can can or is it just something you make and put in the fridge? I have pumpkins. I'm My ears are perking. I'm sick and I'm like, oh, let's make pumpkin butter. 
I gotta make. We actually have to make real butter. I was gonna say I have to make butter coming out of our ears. Because, and you, st- Jamie's like, oh, we have cream, so she stopped buying butter. So we're almost out of like butter from the store that we. You had. told me you're like, if we get this cow, we'll I'll make all of our own dairy products. I'm just. Well, we got. Making sure you remember. We the have deal. a half a gallon of yogurt in there that no one's eating. I, it's because I need to like. The kids are too lazy I to put the jam in. I do need to make some cheese. I'm going to make some mozzarella tonight. Nope, not yet. That's the paint. It. Where's the glue at? I'll just paint it and you can glue it later. It's fine. Cooper says a day in the life of Jamie. He probably knows all the insider information. All right, since somebody else wound up buying that leaf and I didn't realize that I got to paint it because it says on the website will be painted. Okay. Pumpkin butter is so good. What is pumpkin butter? It's probably just like pear butter, but with Yeah, pumpkins. we we didn't make apple or butter, apple but butters. we have been making apple juice because I bought a juicer. The kids love it, but it's a lot of work and it's a mess. I bought a cheap juicer, which is probably why it's... Next year, we're going to invest in an apple press, I think, because we have so many apples and then our neighbors have so we many have apples. We have two trees that are very prolific. Yeah. <laughs> so our, I actually talked to our neighbor across the street and he's like, yeah, take all the apples you want because... These are actually tastier. And then we, pair, we have a pear tree over at the shop that, yeah. like, tons of pears on it. Is this it. glued on? I don't really want to paint that. Mm, I, I'm trying to... Do I have painter's tape? Yeah. In the drawer. Doesn't everybody keep painter's tape in their junk drawer? Yeah, we, the reason why we always list everything on the website is because if it was in comments, we would definitely get things wrong and it wouldn't be fair. So we just let the website do it. And if it doesn't get checked out right away, it's uh, everybody has access to it. It's kind of like the Hunger Games of junk. But the good news is we will always buy new stuff. And so I'm now on the hunt for a leaf for Linda. A leaf feather situation. It might take me a year, but you can ask... Who was it that I bought the tree thing for? It was. Oh, I don't even know. I don't remember, but I remember what you're talking about. Her last name, her last, y- Yukimo, you, you, oh. Yumiko. Yumiko wanted, I had sold it, but she couldn't get it. It was like this tree card holder. And like a year and a half later, I found one and I remembered. And I messaged her and she bought it. So Linda, if you email info at jamierayvintage.com, so Caitlin has your information, I will be on the lookout for another leaf. And if I find it, then we can search your name and see if we can get it to you. Amper's remembered too is Yumiko. All right, this one's drying. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. I made Jamie's that she needed for the applique. Some resin drying up there. The clock will get done here in just a sec. Gonna need to probably get the heat gun out. I'm gonna need glue. Oh, let me go grab you glue real fast. This is gonna need two coats, so it's all right. I can glue it and then paint it again. All right, let it dry a little bit and then we can glue it and then I'll All right. so I can coat it. I'm going to make sure I don't have any drips. Are you going to need the sea glass anymore? No, it was just for that rolling pin, which is done. Okay. I just need to distress that. What kind of leaf? I have a copper one and a pottery one. Oh, it looks like this. Oh, that could be cool. It's like copper. resin. You should do it in copper. That would be cool. To paint it copper. We were debating on how to paint it. I'm going to paint it weathered wood. That was my original plan. Well, stick with your original plan then. Original plan. All right. Waiting for resin to dry. This needs a coat, but we also probably need to put... Were we doing a mold on this too? What? Yes. That's supposed to get the snowflake mold in clay. Oh, in clay. We're doing the air dry clay. So that may not get painted on the live just because we might get a first coat, but I won't finish it because I don't like to get all waxy with it till it dries because then it gets mushed. 
the paper clay is right here. I don't know if we have the um, powder it's, out. Oh yeah, cornstarch. You know, we tried. We had we had all the supplies back here, and we've had to make several trips already. It's crafting for you. We One of these to days, be we will get up, set up over at the shop, and get that. Uh, get our filming studio yeah, finished. Yeah, film, our filming studio done. But as of now, it's like extra storage that doesn't have any lights that work. Because I cut all the electrical out of there. Is there no electrical in there? Nope. I, we pulled that middle wall out and it was sketch, so I just whacked it all out. Good times. I do that with electrical a lot, actually. <laughs> These old buildings we've been doing, I'm just like, yeah, that's sketchy. Here and just take it all out because you never know where, like, you where think you got to. it all, and then you got one random wire that burns the house down. Yeah, that's better. That's not a good idea. All right. I'm gonna have to probably get the heat gun out because I've got first coats on everything. I'm running out of space. I gotta paint that, but not till we put the resin mold on it, the heart shaped thing. Okay. All right, so I demolded these out of the olive crest and they're still a little bit flexible. How much time do we spend at the shop? We actually are not there a whole ton. When I we're spend open. a solid hour a day, but I'm just feeding animals and milking. Yeah. Out of and mine, it just depends. It's not that I'm too cool to work at the shop, but I usually have a million and four things to do. And it's really hard to like get work done when you stop and start a lot. And when people come in, I'm always yakety yakking. So I tend to go in when we're not open and then, intermittently like I drop stuff off there a lot and I'll be there 30 minutes here 30 minutes there or I go to find stuff if they can't find something that needs to be shipped it's kind of just depends or if somebody's sick or if we have an event so if we're having an event and you want to see me that's like the best time to see Zeb and I our kids keep us really really busy and just making videos in the back end of our business. I mean, designing decoupage paper and stencils and business coaching. And Sometimes just answering questions on videos yeah. can take a whole day up. We have two full-time shop employees. And then um, Caitlin works full-time from home and Ivy is part-time. So they take very good care of the shop. This has a random screw. Or nailing it. Oh, what color was Zeb's shelf last week with the numbers? That was Sandy Blonde. Sandy Blonde. That actually sold yes, Sunday? All Saturday right. Sunday? So I had to do a little snippety snipping because it was too big. It was like, but now now it's done, so we can't go back. I cut them. The controversial leaf has been painted. It probably originally came from like Hobby Lobby, so I might be able to find another one. Oh, I missed all the undersides of these leaves. All right, come back here. What is my favorite thing to paint and sell? Oh gosh. Mine's that is candlesticks. Weird. She's painting them right now. Um, I don't know. Anything that is a nice, easy paint job, unlike these leaves that have all this detail. I love anything that I, I love to paint stuff with copper. It's one of my favorites. Um, I also love to just buy something and put an IOD mold on it or an IOD um, transfer, that's fun. But my favorite thing really is just anything that people might overlook at the thrift store and not think it's cool because I like to show people that it's not just the obvious picks that are great. There's lots of things that can be made better with paint because a lot of people say, Oh, I go to the thrift store and I don't find anything. And it's just cause they're not like thinking outside the box. And the other reason I like to paint stuff like this is because sometimes people just have this at their house and they think if I want to change decor, I have to get rid of everything and buy new stuff. And I feel like you can look at your existing pieces and paint them a new way and then give them extra life. This is where painting or pouring these extra pieces that I had extra resin for is going to pay off. 
This is still the olive crest mold for my OD. And I've got that. That was just extra support it. And the shop is not open on Mondays. Usually we have people there. I need to get a big old sign because when yeah. I'm there working on Mondays, there's always several people that come up to the door. And it's usually a hot mess inside because we use that day to like pull all the orders from over the weekend, reset the shop. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a bit. Oh, I got a drippy new. Another one. And another one. Okay. It's it, Sandra says it's rainy, balmy, and 63 here. Horses are out grazing. Our dogs are laying on the pool because the heater is no, actually, no, they're not. They're digging through the leaves. Our neighbor has the most gorgeous oak trees in their backyard, and they kind of they lean over our yard. And so our backyard is full of these really pretty fall leaves. And the dogs are enjoying themselves. All right, I think that layout works. I think what else? I guess when you're done with that, I can paint that. What color do you want that painted? I'm kind of going over the top of the wood, but I, it's, it's working fine. for me. It'll look good. Do you want to paint that French millinery too? Sure, we can. French millinery looks great on clocks. Okay. I think I'm done with this color. I'm not going to wash my brush because I just don't know. All right, I'm going to drop the link to the website again because I know new people have popped on. If you want any of these items, they're in the thrift haul collection or if you need paint or whatever, that's under the paint collection. And the brush shell. And oh, and then the just look, just use a little search bar and type brush, and the brush collection will come up, and that's the sale that's going on. All right, so they go over the the edge, which I think adds a little more detail. That's fancy. I could trim those off and cut them and make them all fit perfectly, but I I'm kind of into just how they're poking over the edge. I'm legit running out of space here. You need me to move some things? No, nah, they're all kind of wet. Get the heat gun out. No, I'm going to paint that. Oh, you're going to paint this? It's ready. Just yeah. go easy on those molds because the glue is super fresh. Oh, I just moved one. What? Oh, yeah. Let's let the glue dry on yeah, that. Yeah, let the glue dry a hot minute on that. Um, All right, you're going on the stove clock. You might just need to get the heat gun out. Okay, I'll heat gun the stuff that I painted first. Because we do only have so much room here. All right, where the you wanted me to do the star on this? The snowflake? On the Blitz mold? Yeah. Let them know we've got Blitz, Bobbles, here you go, and Holly Lane, and still the Noel inlay. All, I guess I can, they can hear me. <laughs> we still have some of the IOD Christmas that we were previously sold out on on the shop because we found some. So I'm getting the word out because we, we restocked Jingle and sold out on that, but we still have Blitz, Bobbles, and Holly Lane. And the Noel paint inlay. All right, what was I looking for? Fair warning, this has a Nerf bullet in the bottom of it. It seems to be fairly wedged. I don't know if I can get it out. <laughs> Free gift with purchase. No, oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Those aren't even ours. We haven't had that. That's not from us. That came. We that was extra bonus from the thrift store. Um. Oh, you didn't grab me. Can I unplug the phone uh, charger? Yeah. Don't unplug the computer though, because you'll kill the camera off. All right. I didn't do that. Joni says, uh, us deep Southerners will buy those pretty leaves. Does it not drop leaves in the South? I thought it did. Did you grab the cornstarch by chance? I do not have it here. Oh, I'm going to have to go on a hunt for it. Let's make sure everybody's good. Krista says she's not ready for snow. I'm never ready for snow. I don't. There's no part of me that enjoys it. I think it's pretty like for a minute on Christmas and I'm glad when the mountains get it because that's what keeps our reservoirs yeah, we full. We had an amazing sunset with the snow covered mountains yesterday. Yeah. But as far as like just snow, I'm not a fan. <laughs> Linda says the scrolls on the clock look nice. Thank you, Linda. And they did good. I think they're prettier than what was there originally. It's nice to have all the molds on hand because things like that, like that clock, we got a discount on because it was missing. It was, it was $5. It was missing the mold on one side. So he gave it to me for four, which I was like, okay, I'll take that. 
All right, so cornstarch in the mold. We are not doing resin. We're going to do the air dry clay on this one. Um, not really any preference. The reason, biggest reason though, is that the air dry clay will mold around this rounded surface really easy. I'll be able to glue it right away, let it sit for 20, 30 minutes, and then we can paint it. If you want to let it fully cure, you can let it sit all the way and dry, but we don't, we're not that patient. Oh, that needs rehydrated there. All right. That's still drying a little bit. Did you get sandpaper? Uh, there might be some around No, that's somewhere. like 80 I need. All right. So this is the Blitz mold. It's new this year. Came out with IOD's holiday fall release. And we have always struck. They, they do limited runs on them. So like once they're gone, they're gone. And we were lucky enough to find some from up in Canada, they bought too many and they're like, hey, they reached out to us and they're like, hey, do you want these? We're like, yes, we will take them. We've been out. <laughs> and much cheaper for us to ship them and import them than people trying to buy from Canada because then you have to pay individually and we got a bulk shipping. I'm just lightly distressing this and then I'm going to, do we have clear wax around here? We do. Yep. I'm just going to wax these handles. Where's my wax brush? Do you have it over here, Steve? Okay. I'm going for the big one, so we'll see how this goes. This We, we must have not sealed this up good. This clay's on the dry side. People always tell me, but then this if the wax and the paint isn't considered food safe, how do you put it on a rolling pin? People don't typically eat off the rolling pin. Or off the handle. Uh, or I mean off the handle, sorry. And mostly they're for decor, but you could, I guess you could use it. I think it'd be fine. I mean, let's be honest. Hardcore like lacquers and resins get used on your kitchen table and once they're cured and dry, it's fine. All right, I need a, I don't want to put it down because I don't want it to get dirty. Oh, there's another drip on that church. The church is drippy. I mean, but we got to tell you all the things on how to be safe. That's true. Um, do we have any paper towels or anything? I got to pull the wax off of this. All right. The bottom half of this was nice and pliable. Need to add like a, what is it that you put in there to make them like a piece of bread or something? Yeah. You can put a baby wipe in the oh, baby wipe. There it is waxed and unwaxed. And once it dries, it'll be lighter than that. Because it's, it's still, I think it's not quite hardened, but it's going to be soon if we don't reconstitute that. And you don't put rolling pins in the dishwasher anyway, so you can just hand wash the uh, or you the wood. And you don't want to submerge it and leave it in there because it's not good for the wood anyway. So totally right. usable. So I'm just using the micro rim now on this to kind of just peel back all the excess, make sure it's all flat that the edges are all filled in look how cute that is it's i feel like this is old school like that is the, one of the first things we started showing people was how to paint handles on rolling pins do you have any questions what brush do you recommend for waxing um for detail stuff i like to use stencil brushes um, i'm about or to use this brush here though the round zebra the round actually will zebra. work even though it's not a wax brush. It's a little bit softer, right? So if or you're the, looking for like a really stiff bristle, but I feel like it with the, so the trouble is, is if your wax brush is this soft on the bristle, you've got to have a soft wax, which it works perfect with the DIY wax because it's like really creamy and soft. But if you've got like a harder, more commercial type wax, this brush won't work as well. Oh, Zeb, can you fix the top of that church that's sideways? Um, um, that's just trying. the way it is. It's, that's. I think you could move it a little. Nope. I can break go. it and move it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the tw number 20. Uh, sorry, I told you guys we're under the weather. The number 20 stencil brush is also a wax brush. So you could try that. And that one's really good. All right. This is. So Tamara says we're now. each having our conversations with ourselves. Okay. That is where we're at today. All right. I'm going to dry brush this. What are you, are you going to glue that on there? Yeah, but I'm going to show them how detailed it is. Because I used the cornstarch, it picks up all the detail in the mold 
and releases because man all those little pieces if you don't use cornstarch they're all just going to stick down in all right i'm gonna let that dry and then i'm gonna just dress this one now, next is the chickens are getting the dry brush And if you're dry brushing, you're like, oh, that's too much white. I don't love it. You can always come back and dry brush the base color over the top. There's a lot of glue on there. I'll try not to mush my, my details and still get the glue out to the edge. But I'm loving that. That looks good. All right. Um, Tracy says the mold looks like Italian Christmas cookies. It does. That's my favorite thing about the hall. I like can put up with the cold because I can bake all I want without worrying about heating up the house. That is the one positive of winter. In fact, you get me walking by, I'm like, open that oven up and don't let any of that heat don't, out. Don't waste the money. So we got it. We open the oven up in the winter to heat the house. We used to have little kids and couldn't do that, but they are all old enough to know the oven is hot. Okay. That's dry brushed. I got a heat gun this and I can dry brush this. All right. I don't want to squish it too much because I'll lose that detail. So I think. Repurpose my ways as I just bought the blitz mold. I'm excited. It was sold out during the sale. Yeah, they didn't actually ship. And we couldn't have put it on sale anyways because we paid quite a bit in customs and shipping to have it come from Canada. And a weird, like in the States, if you buy and you're going to resell it, you don't have to pay tax on it. But in Canada, we had to pay a 5% tax. And well, there is a way that you going. can like get it reimbursed. But by the time I did all those steps, it wouldn't be worth the hoopla. But we were just glad to get them. All right, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit, just flat like that, not touching it anymore because I don't want to lose any of that detail in there. And we'll, we'll come what color do you want me to that. paint that? I don't know. Are you going to let it dry a little bit? Um, I think like a white with some copper accents on there would okay. be good because it's kind of, it would still work for Christmas with the end winter. Are you done with all the things you, oh no, we need to get the. No, I got to get this other frame on this bear thing. We're the bear over. situation, We're the, going bet, over the, an hour the, the today. bet that I lost. I we just got to be done by the time the kids get out of school. Oh, yeah, we'll be done before then. I got to have lunch before that happens. Yeah, because you're not yourself when you're hungry. Hey, Kristen from She Paints is on. All right. Eliza wants to swim in the pool, but the problem is, I don't know if you, you got to figure out what's going on with that heater. Okay, so this a is a little oversized, so I'm just going to cut it here with the scissors. You can do this pretty easily while it's fresh. After it hardens, it doesn't. you're going to need something more serious to cut it with because it gets brittle and it'll snap if you try to just like whack at it with a knife or something. Rob says I need hot sauce to clear my sinuses. She does love hot sauce. Cholula usually works. Your mom called me a minute ago, but I didn't take it. So she's probably oh. like, what do you want for lunch? I'll text Caitlin. Are you and grandma going to lunch? Question mark. Well, that got thick over there. She is focused and does not care about Kristen. I said, hi. Did you ask me a question, Kristen? No, I'm going to say what glue did you use for the clay? Was that just wood glue? No, I used I used oh, the construction, uh, construction adhesive. adhesive, the Gorilla Glue construction adhesive. I'm gonna oh, dry brush this. Very... I was going to wet distress it, but I've just decided to dry brush it. So if any of the white peeking through the base comes out, it'll be fine because it'll match with the top color that I'm dry brushing it. Oh. 
this has been a struggle getting this cut straight with all the Are you detail. on the struggle bus, Sam? I'm a little. Not not too far on it, but I am on it. I'm going to take all this dark stuff I got a and move it because I'm going to have second coat all that. Oh. Does it fit? Oh, yeah. It's too big. I'm having to trim it down. <laughs> so it doesn't fit. It's too big. <laughs> this bear situation. I just wanted to show people that sometimes you could just cover up the heart. Because nobody likes heart stuff. That's not true. Oh, you wrote Zeb. Zeb is focused and not got it. Yeah, Zeb doesn't. Um, Zeb does not. He can't read them. I can't see the comments. And even there, if he so. could, he doesn't have as good a vision. So he'd be like this. My vision is going. I used to be 2015 until I was like 35. And now it's like headed way downhill quick. I have LASIK. I used to be very blind. One of the like positives that we've had from being an influencer is I actually got a brand deal for my LASIK and they, I wanted to see if they'd give me a discount and they wound up doing it for free, which was a huge blessing. It was a few years back. We had saved the money and we wound up being able to reinvest yeah, it in we our were, business. We were saving, saving, saving and ready to pay for it. And, right, and then you this. found out that they did influencer stuff and you're, you at, all you did was ask. Yeah. I was like, Hey, would you give me a discount for promoting you? She's like, we'll do it for free. I'm like, Oh, <gasps> I love and then they came and shot <laughs> just like flung a, resin at me. And then they came and sh shot like a whole commercial. I don't know that they ever aired the commercial, but they did shoot one. All right, we're calling. We're calling that good. I don't even need to glue it in. It's like really wedged in there. I'll glue it though. That's the responsible thing to do. <laughs> Let's be responsible. There we go. Done. Just, gonna just needs to be waxed. I'm making some room. Powering through your pile of projects over there. Yep. All right, this is ready to be painted. Look at that. Covered that heart right on up. Rosanna just opened up her second Rosanna's place. So you're a chain. All right. That's awesome. I'm not sure I could ever open up a second Jamie Ray vintage because while I don't spend, can you fix the camera? We've been on. Oh, we've been on an hour. An hour. Um, well, I don't spend every minute at the shop. I am there quite often and I can't imagine doing two. Maybe if I didn't have a bunch of children, animals, and my mom <laughs> living with us. Thank goodness Caitlin lives close. She's my niece and she does a lot of stuff, helps with my mom. My daughter Odelia helps with my mom when she can. My mom doesn't drive. Notice that was slightly. Janine says, I cut the heart into a diamond or square. There you go. That's a good idea, too. She says, I'm disagreeing with Zeb. No one I know wants 80s heart cutouts. Did you say that some people might want it? I said maybe. Maybe they do, <laughs> but we've not found them. We've not found do you ship to Alaska. We do. It's not free shipping to Alaska. It's only to the 48 states, but we do ship to Alaska. The lower 48. The lower, the contiguous. Is that the correct word? Uh, I think that is. Okay. This Can is you add the pig now? Paint. Oh, maybe, but I'm going to do. That would be weird, I think. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I think what I'm going to do is do an actual. What if we paint it all and we do a sheet from the. IOD sheep twall print, the English country. You know what my fingers are saying? No. <laughs> Maybe they should, we'll put the pig on there, see what it looks like. If you want to. Some people say I'm too bossy, so I'm... Ah, that actually doesn't look half bad. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Whose idea was that? Whose idea was it? I don't know. Somebody said, oh, um, Rhonda. I can idea. even make, instead of having the pig float up in the middle of it, I think I'll make it stand down below, almost like it's in front of like a big mantle or something. Can you do a live DIY tutorial on the chippy bench you painted last month with the wood showing through? Didn't we do an, a video on those benches? Maybe it's a bench I'm not thinking Maybe of. Maybe they just want it live so that they can see the real-time action on the chippiness. Who was, was that it? with the... Uh... I think we did a video on those benches. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, we did an edited video. If you send me a message, who was that? Charlie Brown. Can you send me a message with a picture of the one you're talking to? To info at jamierayvintage.com. And if we have a video, Caitlin can send that link to you. And if we don't, then we can stick it in the, 
the think tank for future videos. Everybody says they love it. Um, looks better than just the frame. I think it looks better than the heart. Well, I was going to decoupage in the middle of the frame, but this works too. Yeah, we'll let that dry and then we can paint it. It just that just went so that went from little heart bears to pretty farmhouse slash French country. Well, I had to make it awesome because I paid a buck for it and we're charging twenty two or twenty four for it. With the resin, right? All Hands right, is this one dry? What? One? Oh no, these are still. No, I'll give those another couple minutes. Where are we at? Where I we got at? a big resin mess um, over here. Is where we're at. I'm just trying to think of what you can work on. You want to start second Man, coating? This thing is just dripping. It's the stupid eaves on the house. <laughs> you want to start second coating my white stuff? Yep. You're going to need your own brush because I'm using my white brush to That's okay. we dry have, brush. But brushes. then I can come help you finish second coating. I'm going to put that aside. We will get to waxing that big thing before we go here. I think we're going to try to bring it home. Oh, this is done. So this was off of something we got in England back in March. Doesn't look like much, right? We did a uh, impression of her and we actually used them on our stuff out front, our uh, urn planters. They said that that looks like a Pennsylvania Dutch uh, piece with a pig on it. Is that like Amish or is that different? That. There you go, there's a good side profile of her. But it's not super big but just a really fun accent piece that we couldn't let go go away. We had to save it because it was crumbling and falling apart. We got it at the salvage yard in England. And so if you look up applique, A-P-P, how do you spell that? A-P-P-L-I-Q-U-E. I, I dropped it. the link, but I'm I in the middle painting. You nailed it, you crushed that spell. I crushed that. Um, in the search button, you can find that one and then the little girl with the lamb. Those are the only ones that we make as of yet. And we usually just, how many ever get ordered, we'll just make them when we're doing our projects for the week. We used to make a ton of them, but then we felt like a sweatshop. So we stopped, so we just make some that are unique. Yep, if we have them, they'll, we'll make like three or four. Ta-da! What do you guys working. think of that? You think the leaf looks better before or after? How does the cottage paint do for exterior use? Um, it's hit and miss. It's hit and miss, depends on what you paint it do the on. We, we, so I've got some stuff that's just like sitting out with the snow and the ice on it right now, and it's not doing that great. So if I would say if it's not going to get super, super wet, if it's just getting like sunlight and things, I would say it works really, really well. If it gets wet and it's in like cold and hot temperatures, it does chip and crack. There's a lot of paints that don't, that are rated outdoors that don't, that do that too. Like it's hard to get an outdoor paint that's going to last for years and years, but I would say use with caution on outdoor stuff. I used it on an old milk can and I had it in the middle of our garden and a bowl and it's been fine. And then I had some chairs where the paint, where the water sat on it and it was not good. And then the coffee table that we did all those strips on has been fine, but those are weathered anyway. So I don't know that I noticed. The, uh, one of the things that has worn the worst was a table and it could have been just like some grease spots under the table. Um, or the fact that it got rained on pretty much or sprinkled on every time with the garden and it's wood. Um, but that, that has not held up well. If you do use a heat gun on cottage color, it has a built in sealer, which means keep that heat gun moving. Was that dried all the way? I mean, Would you first... ever consider finding a merchandiser in the UK? Like somebody that shops for us? Probably not, but only because. It gives I... her a good reason to go and do it. <laughs> No, just because I'm really particular and there are some things that I'll buy and then I'm kind of over it or I have enough of them. And so I don't always buy the same things. Or or we thought they were going to sell well and they didn't. Yeah. So I kind of like to go there and see it in person. And it's my favorite part of my job is shopping. So I don't like to pass that along. I pass things along like taxes and shipping. I can ship. I used to ship all of our orders, but it's not my favorite anymore. And so I only do it if we get behind because when you're, when you own a business, sometimes you got to do all the things. I was thinking about using it on clay pots. Oh, it would hold up well on clay pots because they're so porous. It's yeah. just going to soak right in. It's not going to, that would be good. Okay. So second coat this situation. Well, and the table 
in the table's defense and the pate's defense only got one coat one maybe two coats <laughs> yeah i didn't get a lot of paint we on should it. have really like used it like a sealer like when we seal a tabletop we're going to eat on we do four or five coats of sealer um so when you're doing that with like a paint that's an all-in-one you need to do four or five coats on the top kind of thing you know um and we just we didn't so there's it probably works really well we just haven't experimented enough we the stuff we did was kind of like let's see if we can the manufacturer it. said it was outdoor rated but both debbie and zeb and i like all three of us agreed that we really didn't want to advertise that because we didn't we didn't think it would work in all applications i feel like it's better to um under promise and over deliver when it comes to paints and realistically because of how natural and clean the paints are if you want something that's just going to like withstand the test of time, you got to be willing to use chemicals. I'm sorry. Like that's just the way it is. And you can't, you can't have your cake and eat it too sometimes. And I actually don't mind if things chip a little, so it's fine by me. <laughs> All right. That Jim, I think is Jimmy's good. like, we left this out on purpose so that it could get the good chippy that I want. <laughs> on the square drawers, could you turn the drawers and use the piece horizontal? No, because it has gorgeous stacked trim on the top and the bottom so there'd be like a i mean you could if you, you want to could take that off. if you want to take the trim off but that's kind of what makes it cool all right all right so these are going to get more work they're not just going white this one is going to get stenciled i think it's going to be said cool. come to germany for flea market trips we might we have family in germany problem is when you go visit family it's hard to get your work done <laughs> We let we go and we just ignore everything and shop and eat and no schedule. Sleep in until noon a couple yeah. days. Yeah. You know. It is what it is. Like it it's a lot of work, but then we also get to it's like a different kind of work. We have a very scheduled life when we're at home. Every minute is planned out for us pretty much. And so when we go away, we don't we don't like that. All right, this is gonna need three coats if we're gonna do full coverage, but maybe we'll find something to do on top well, of it. Well, you went dark on, or you went light with this white paint on all these dark, shiny things. Well, what if we did a reverse? What if we did a weathered wood dry brush on top of the white paint, what do you think? I think that would be amazing. Okay. Oh, it's going over there. Whoops, I messed up. It's all second coated? Um, those, yeah, but they need heat gunned. Okay. What do we got over here? Those just need waxed. I think we're getting close. We need to paint this, the clock, and that. If you're careful, you can paint those. If I'm careful? Okay. I mean, they're just flat, so. I'm just going to move these out of the way. I'll just have to touch up where my little fingers were. Because I, like, I don't like heat gunning if I don't have to. I feel like it's a waste of time. I got other things to do. <laughs> well, hey. when we're not on camera, we don't heat gun. We go do just, other projects. Yeah, we go we rotate go. the laundry, which reminds me I need to do that. Um, so we decided French millinery on this, right? Yep. Okay. I do have, where'd my French millinery brush go? Oh, it's right here. There you go. Somebody says, now I want a greenhouse. I want a greenhouse too, but we got a cow. And I like milk, so I feel like it's a good, it's a good trade off. I'm excited about the mozzarella. I've made like some farmer's cheese, which is just like a basic a crumbly cheese. Crumbly. It doesn't melt. It doesn't get melty. Um, but we've got all the stuff, the rennet and the uh, it's like powdered citric acid to make mozzarella cheese with. So I think we'll give that a go. I just been not motivated to do anything extra the last few days but we have plenty of milk building up because we've been stockpiling so if it ever does cheese. start to get a little bit old we can give it to our chickens we can give it to cooper's pigs yeah there's lots of things we do not let it go to waste we also give it away to well, family. harrington's discovered that he loves it he was hesitant he's like raw milk i don't know what, what's that gonna taste like like he's got he's got some weird sensory food stuff going on that he has his whole life um but he tried it and like i was out milking buttercup last night and he's like hey i got that i got that half gallon jar that uh, mom gave me a milk you think you could fill that up right now a little <laughs> refill situation he's like just leave that on the doorstep would you yeah so now you're his milkman i'm the milkman
and I told him, I'm like, if you're scared of it not being pasteurized you or can whatever, heat it up. you just heat it up to about 180 right before it starts boiling and it's still really good. It's like, about, it's called like a low temp pasteurization. The thing about uh, the raw milk is that it has so many good like antibodies and things in it. I mean, you got to be careful. Like you got to keep everything really yeah. sanitary. You got You can't just leave it in the fridge for like a week and a half because stuff starts also, happening. Also, Make sure it's legal in your state because apparently there's controversy. Oh, man, there I'm are... like, listen, if if Cheetos are legal, there raw is milk should so be legal. There's so much controversy in some states about raw milk. Like it is more illegal to have raw milk than like illegal narcotics and drugs. Did I, <laughs> I drip over the edge? In some states. So, you know, check your local laws. Yeah. We're not here to start any illegal activity of raw milk drinking. <laughs> We do not sell it. Either. It just seems funny. Like the things that get regulated. Right. What is the difference between the waxes? Which waxes? The colored waxes or like oil wax and DIY wax? Oil wax you brush on and it dries hard like a resin. That's what we used on our countertop and the floors in our addition. And then the soft wax, like the beeswax, the white wax, the clear wax, the black wax, all those are just a brush on and wipe back. Instead of doing this live stream, we were contemplating just doing like a Christmas decor video. And Jamie's like, no, we got to clean the house too much. We've been, we've been between the shop opening, Jamie's dad passing, going to uh, Europe for a, a week and a half, and then coming back and having to jump right back in and catch up from being gone and then being really sick. We just, we haven't really cleaned the house well in probably six months. <laughs> I mean, it's like cleaned up and not like all the way clean. And when it's, I don't know about you guys, but Christmas, I like to clean up. Yeah. So it's, it's picked up for the most part, but we we're starting to get piles of like stuff from the thrift store that hasn't been listed yet. There's some stuff over there from England that still needs taking pictures and listed. The church is sold. Sorry. Somebody the, asked. Uh, I just barely got around to taking the big, huge crocs that Jamie had with, um, live pine trees in them that's above the fridge cabinet area. I just got those outside and I didn't even make it very far. They're just on the front porch now. We do have our Christmas lights up, but that's because the people that do our lawn spraying stuff, they, uh, <laughs> they also do Christmas lights. And so they texted us and they put them up for us. And Zeb is a lot of things. I he is a, not a Christmas light putter upper. I don't love them enough to go risk my life on the roof. So <laughs> and these young kids, they're actually all mostly old uh, ex Lehigh football players that are in college or whatever. Yeah. They come put up our Christmas lights for us. I'm like, hey, I recognize you. All right. This has got the base coat on it. Oh, and I painted the back. That's more even there. Oh, did it's you fix that? It's got like a lean. Oh, we missed out on lunch. They already got it. She tried calling, was having issues. Um, I just, why wouldn't she just get food? I have never been presented with any food in my entire life that I've not eaten. I, I cannot think of something I, I won't eat. I don't know, but we're still another half hour from being finished, so. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's my only fine. excuse is canning. Okay, so Cynthia, you feel our pain. We, all of our canning mess is in my gorgeous walk-in pantry. And I told Zeb, I'm like, this is not all me. It's his freeze-dried stuff, my canning. We've got to organize that because... I feel like when you don't keep your food organized, you waste it. So also a lot of it is probably my fault because we went from like having all kinds of goodies and snacks that were pre-made. And when I got now diagnosed with clean. Hashimoto's disease, Jamie like got rid of a lot of that, but we've got a lot of extra, we have ingredients to make things now, which is in there, but not just stuff. Our fridge definitely looks like a, a homestead fridge. We've got like homemade cheese, homemade yogurt, milk, canned salsa, um, we use canning jars. Does anybody else do this? If you have canning jars, we use them for leftovers. So like it also is the Tupperware of the canner. Um, we haven't been canning any more tomatoes because we've been, we picked all of our green tomatoes. We've been eating them as they ripen. So that's been fun. We got about 20 quarts in there that and have not, that didn't get eaten through the summer that are going to get us hopefully through the winter of like canned tomatoes. Yeah, we have canned tomatoes. The kids, the kids eat, drink the apple juice before we ever get that canned. We do have some pumpkin that we'll probably do because processing the pumpkin makes it better for pie. We don't have a ton of canning. I do can beans, like pinto beans, year round. And we have a video kind of going over canning. And then I'm going to do a blog on it for our homesteading channel, which we'll share later. We keep, but we just haven't 
quite done it yet, but it's also because we're sick. So we were like, man, let's get this homesteading blog thing going because we're we're doing like we're in the city. We have between our two properties, we have three quarters of an acre here in the city, and where we're at in Old Lehigh, the zoning is such that we're able to have them. Um, so it works out, but like we don't have like acres and acres of land. So we wanted to do kind of like, what can you do on small piece of property with your garden? And oh, is that, that's some cashews. Oh wait, I'm like super thirsty. I think those will plug me up. But <clears throat> what's the difference between white wax or clear wax? So clear wax oh, yeah. is just like clear. One. And um, it doesn't really change the color. It'll deepen and richen the color if it's a clay-based paint. And the white wax is going to give it a white hue. But it's both the same ingredients other than the white wax has white in it. But yeah, we the homesteading channel will be very vlog style. Like we'll put some recipes and some DIYs because we have a ton of recipes. I love cooking. Jamie's very good at cooking, um, baking bread, canning, things like that. And just what we're doing for our family because uh, we do have – Five children. Harrington doesn't live with us, but he's close enough. He pops in and eats. But he eats with us. Um, our so the channel that it's going to go on, I think, is currently called like Zeb and Jamie. Uh, I'd have to look it up. We'll drop the link on. Um, it has Facebook like eight hundred subscribers. We were going to do just straight up DIYs on this channel, um, and I started uploading them last March, and I we got super busy trying to finish the church, and I didn't have time to do regular channel and edit and do all that stuff. So that's why this is going to be kind of really free form kind of vlog style where we just film a bunch of stuff and throw it up there. Videos will probably be like 20 minutes long and just if you ever wondered uh, what happens behind the scenes. <laughs> that'll be it. Yeah. Are you going to white wax the clock? I think it would be pretty. Um, I might white wax the clock, but it's got to dry and the glue has to dry. So that might be one of the things that doesn't get finished on the live. What color did we decide to paint this up? Um, I don't, I don't know that we did. I don't think we did decide. I think that this would be weird for pink. Yeah, I don't do purple. French millinery on the pig. I could go weathered wood. Yeah, that, well, that'll make it look more like stone, I think. Okay. So I think that would be good. All right. I'm gonna. I'm just cleaning up over here a little. I got a drippy so do over here. I did pretty projects. good not getting paint on that clock. I base. got that shelf we did earlier. If you're just joining, we painted the shelf from Saturday night's thrift haul. Okay, um, these are all done. They just need to be clear waxed and then weathered wood. I had to find my brush. Sometimes I have to talk to myself about things. I'm gonna hold the pig because the pig's not dry yet. So my trick when stuff is like not quite dry yet, rather than brushing it, because that'll move it all over the places, I just kind of stipple the paint on. Oh, do I need to paint that urn that you put the snowflake on? Yeah, in a minute. We'll let it get, I mean, we, we're going to have some time. We'll do that very last. Okay. Well, if you get a little crust on it with the um, heat gun, sometimes that helps. Okay. Okay, so now... My pig is starting to probably doesn't look like anything. It will once I it all went away. Brush. It all went away, but I promise it you. It literally looks like a, a pig standing in front of like a fireplace mantle now. That like, is exactly like what I was going for. someone let him in for. to get warm. All right. I don't want to heat that up too much. I don't want it to crackle. It's hard because this is a has a moving piece here. Sometimes I pick stuff that is not easy to paint. Well, when you grab that with the bears on it and the heart in the middle, I'm like, I like a challenge. I'm like, I what like are you challenge. gonna do with this? I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. Your mother, your mother is at the door. Well, actually, my mother, but your mother too. She never wants to go in the side door. It's because that door is hard to turn. You're good. I saw. You. I missed your call. It's all right. What do they say about your ear? Yeah. You have an ear infection? Well, what are they uh, going to do no. with it? Just antibiotic? A totally different antibiotic? Did they give you a shot in your bum? No. Oh, good. 
What? One of two things. We're live, so. One of them could be skin cancer. Oh. Oh, no. You go to a dermatologist yes. and look at it. Yes. Well, we can go to the. Okay. All right. Well, we'll take you to the one that's that we went to before with Dad. Hey, just remind me when I'm not live. I'll make an appointment. So the channel is called Jamie and Zeb. That's the whole channel. There's 833 subscribers. I pulled all the videos off of it though because they were kind of. All Weird. mismatched, and we were so gonna we're gonna restart. call it Jamie, probably uh, Ray Family Homestead. We're gonna change the name, but for now, if you want to pre subscribe, just go to Jamie and Seb. Should have a video on it by like the end of this week. I hope we filmed it like a week it's ago. Filmed. We got one filmed and ready. Um, what were we doing on this? I don't remember. Whatever you want, just That's paint vague. it. I was wanting you to give me some direction, I don't want to decide things. <sighs> Um, so I was thinking it would be good for a tree base. So you could oh, go, I I'll remember we were going to go white with gold on the accents. Okay. That's going to be a lot of layers or, of white to cover up all that dark. Copper. Well, should I do DIY paint? I don't know that we have any. Let me go look. I got to get this church out of the way. You said that's already sold. The church. Yeah, the church is already sold. Are you going back with, uh, I'm going to white wood? dry brush the situation. How can we be out How of How do you rehydrate strong? the clay? Put a damp paper towel or a baby wipe in a Ziploc bag with your clay and let it sit. And if it if it will rehydrate, that will do it. If it's still not rehydrated, then that means it's too far gone. Oh, I think we do have some white swan. All right, that's done. I mean, we'll have to wax it, but that'll be okay. Okay. I'm going to use this same brush, though. Sandra says, I don't know why, but I'm so over weathered wood. Maybe it's because you watch us too much. And I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's okay, Sandra. Paint your stuff what you I want. I could try. Out. I could do old school. It's basically the same color. With like a on there? I don't have old school here. These are the colors we had in the... We couldn't go to the... We're trying not to go out because we're not feeling good. And these are the paints that we had. I'm also trying to use up all the random paint in my cabinet so I can restock it with different stuff. I subscribe to the new channel so I know when you put videos up. Thanks, awesome. Dancing Daisy. Yeah, my mom, her ears have been bugging her and Caitlin was coming in so she took her to their doctor. It's pretty close to our house. So a little different videos than what we normally do for sure. So the channel will probably look and feel a little different. Than, than the DIYs. Cynthia said you don't have enough to do, so you made another channel. Well, what really we what it is- We're already doing it, so now we're just filming it and doing it. We need it to be, it's hard to do all the things we want to do homestead-wise. It's hard to justify taking the time because it's not work. But if it if it's creates worth, a we'll revenue, it. we'll we will totally make time for it. And it's things that we want to do. And sometimes as a creator, you like to try um, new things. And I still love the painting, the thrifting, the junking, all those things. But then I, I also want to be Betty Crocker or Martha Stewart. You know, the only I, thing, I the like difference you... between me and Martha Stewart is that she's got peeps. And I have some peeps, but not like, she has like a full staff taking care of her farm. Yeah, she's not out there taking care of those animals like that. I mean, I'm sure she could. She's very handy. So I had I am, it always blows me away, like how old she actually is these days. Dude, she's had some work done, but classy. But well, she's still work. busy. Like, yeah, she still, she still works. I think you know you you just keep moving around. Happy homemaker. I was told that I'm like I I would be like the PTA president, man. He said I would get bored if I was just doing homemaking, but I'm like, try me. Oh, that looks good white. Oh, you found some DIY. Yeah. You know, it'd be a good pro tip is do the first coat with DIY paint and then finish it off with cottage color. So as a built-in sealer. Yeah. Then I could just go with the gold <laughs> over. Also, she's been in jail and I haven't. How do you know that I haven't? She hasn't. Don't, <laughs> let, her, don't let her lead you astray. She's, she's a rule follower. I've got a few parking tickets. 
which can really come back to bite you because you don't remember to pay them. Hanging with Snoop Dogg keeps Martha young. She also hangs out with Young Gravy. I don't, I don't get it. It cracks me up though. Martha has an empire. <laughs> True that. Although, like when she went to jail, did she really know that it was insider training? I don't know. When you have a lot of people that do stuff for you, sometimes things get overlooked. But you know what? She crafted. She came up with crafty things while she was there. Brandy says she's not a domestic housewife. She's a feral housewife. <laughs> uh, I like it. All right. I think they wanted us to do white wax on this, but my concern is that the um, paint might not be dry or the glue might not be dry enough. Yeah, I'm gonna have, I was trying I'll to avoid to check. touching it, but it's getting real wobbly. I'm just touching up a few spaces places where it's a little stringy. So this piece is weird. It's like plaster with fiberglass. It's weird. You don't know what it's like. You can't put your finger on what it's quite made of there. Yeah. Keeps you on your toes. Right now I'm actually just, there's like a bunch of paint pulled up places and I'm kind of pulling it out with the brush so it dries faster. So French millinery actually with a white wax sells very well for us. So you might try that, Sandra, if you don't want to do the blues and the greens. I've done very well with it. I mean, if you're here to see yellow and red, this is probably not going to be your spot. <laughs> I did one video on how to paint red furniture and I get comments all the time. I don't really like red, <laughs> like, but I had to try it. That's doing, that's, that covered pretty good. Yeah. I think that's good enough, like one coat coverage on that. And then we'll do your idea with the cottage color of the top with the sealer in it. And then. All right. What about will... that shelf over there? The shelf I got to bring back over. I don't know if it's dry yet. Oh yeah, that dried up nice. It is two o'clock. Is it? How did that happen? I don't know. All right, Time so this flies is French millinery fun. dry in the DIY paint. So are we white waxing that? Um, I was gonna wet distress it and bring some of the white back. Okay, but the white's streaky underneath. It's not a very solid. I'm not gonna bring that much in the bag. Okay, thanks for sharing, Amy. All right, I feel like for the purposes being, I could totally white wax this, but I'll have to wait till this dries all the Oh, way. it's cr cross country okay. season. It's coming. It's I'm going to see if this dries enough for me to white wax it. We'll see what happens. What do you need, mom? Yeah. Oh, cocktail sauce. All right. The trouble with these long lives is by the time we're done, I'm ready for a nap and still have other things to do. They gave you tartar sauce. I'm sorry, mom. All right, I'm scooching your. All right, my pig yep. creation. All right, just the, I think I'm just going to lightly, lightly wet the stress. All right, I'm going to heat gun this pig situation. Oh, your stuff over here is looking great. The stuff that's done, yeah. That's why I love weathered wood and a white dry brush. Like, it's pretty quick. I just want to pick up the, the highlights a little bit so it's not super. We could, this has got enough detail. You could just dry brush this too. That's what I said. Oh, missed it. <laughs> Should I paint the back of this? Well, then I'm not going to distress it much then. I feel like I need to paint the back of this. All right. Now, I'll white dry brush it and then you can start working That's on the rest of the white stuff. That's enough then if you're white dry brushing. I got to hold the pig. I'm going to be painting the back. Yeah, it's small enough. I would definitely paint that whole thing. Because I don't know where people are going to put this. I mean, I don't know that anybody's going to buy it. I think it looks cool. See. We'll see. Put some candles in it for effect. I'll photograph it and show people how. All right, so I French got this all wet. Is. And now I'm going to, you know what it did do? It kind of calmed some of those brush strokes down. I just need a heat gun in the back of this. You got an itchy nose.
All right, I'm passing that you got something to white dry brush with. I'll pass this your way. Yeah. Uh, actually, you got a lot of paint over there. I, I could fold it up. You can. Yeah, this is my white side. Okay. Is your shop church registered as a historical landmark? It is. It is a national, national. historical landmark. But not the state. Which is good because the state gets all up in your business. They don't give you money, but then they try to tell you what you could do with it. I'm like, listen, Linda. Like, if you want me to restore it. I'm going to need some cash. Oh, you went real white. Okay. I'll heat gun this. Whoops. Well, I'll have to Lysol that. I just licked it. <laughs> I'll make sure to spray everything with Lysol. Actually, you know what? Wonder if we should, uh, we'll sand that. We'll see what we do with that. I might dry brush the top too. So what are you, what's the end finish on this? You gonna just dry brush it to highlight it? Yeah, cause you can't see the piggy. Oh, there's a big goop of paint down in there. Do you need the paintbrush to scoop it out? Uh, no, I just used my thumb. All right, that is basically done. These are a little finished. We'll bring work. them before we go. We'll bring everything back up so you guys can see it all close up. Oh, but not an hour and a half. Holy moly. Let me fix this real fast. Oh, we're both off camera, but I just got to move that away. Right. I think it'll be okay. You were shaking the camera around enough. It was like someone was there. Buttercup is happy to do this. And we've, she has now doubled her milk output. So we're feeding her a ton and she still hasn't gained any weight because people are like, oh, she's so skinny. She's she just, how she is. Just how she is. I mean, just there's like goopy paint on this. You know, I eat and I gain five pounds. She eats and she just makes more milk. That's how it works. Which is what the previous odor told us, but. Yeah. All right. These are going to need to be heat gun. I think I'm going to, what were we going to do with these? Are we going to dry brush them? Yeah. I remember you were going to go with the weathered wood over the top instead of the. This one you wanted to stencil. Do you still feel yeah, like stenciling? Yeah, I need another, I need another white on that. Do you want me to use DIY and then. Come back with a coat? Yeah, we can. You can mix it up. The DIY is a little warmer. Bye. I'm going to go with the... It's a warm white. It's thick. This is almost dry enough for you to do. You had so much paint on here. What are you trying to say? Are you saying I'm a paint slapper? For sure. I oh, show. I feel like that's an accurate description. True. I feel like there's like some greasy stuff on this. Maybe what? Maybe candle wax? Oh, that's probably. It's all right. I'll fix it. Okay, that's good. Do you want me to do this with all of them? Just a coat of DIYs and then. Um, you can. Are we gonna dry brush these with weathered wood, huh? Yeah, we got we got okay. some time. We got to we got to wax this still. Okay, I'm gonna dry brush this. Oh. The pig's getting it. All right, I'll dry this off and then stencil this real fast. We got a stencil brush show. We got to use some stencil brushes. That's right. We got to let people know. This is the part of the live where we've been on for quite a while and we're out of stuff to talk about that's happened in the last couple of days. I mean, I feel like there's always. And, and we're also getting tired and, and hungry. Hungry is true. And we are under the weather, but we are getting so much stuff accomplished. I know. We that we we thrifted a lot of things that needed painted this last time around. And sometimes you have to do that. That's just how it goes. You, you're like, you know, you hope for stuff that you don't necessarily have to do a lot to to make it upscale and fun and fit fit the style that you're looking for. 
And sometimes you just have to paint all the things because that's what you found. Sometimes you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. You get out your paintbrush and make it awesome. Okay, I got it. Sorry, I was painting so you guys could see, but now I'm going to. Just go give them a close up. That looks good. Shocking what that little piece turned into. I knew it all along. I just thought, well, it couldn't be worse. <laughs> You're going to make me get all raspy on camera. You're going to laugh. <laughs> my, wheezy, my wheezy laugh. All right, almost there. Dun, 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 dun. Do you want to grab me? Are you going to show them close? Yeah. Hold on. Do you want to grab me a crockery stencil? What do you think? I'm going to let it dry, and then I might come back with, I don't know. Should I put gold on it? I need to do the fronts of these because they need more. They turn out pretty good. All right, I think that's dry enough. Should we distress it first before I stencil or do the stencil after? Um, I don't know. I say stencil first. Okay. I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll think if I need to add anything else to it. You can sit over here, little piggy. Okay, this is getting the weathered wood dry brush. We'll see. I usually don't dry brush in the reverse. I may have to come back and dry brush this more. I didn't realize it was super um, still wet. And I don't want to blend. It's not my goal here today. I don't think we've ever used this one. Is it new? No. That's going to be interesting to do on a rounded surface. Don't you worry about me. Oh, I'm not worried. I have 85% faith in you. 85%? Okay. I would say full, but I mean, I, there have been a few times. Me too. I'll take 85%. That's a high B. I feel like that's a, that's a winning ratio I'm gonna round of success. That I'm going to round that up to almost being an A. <laughs> it's a B plus. What is your best selling furniture color right now? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I've sold. So that's the thing is I never sell two pieces that are the same color. I have sold a, a white piece. I sold a pink piece and I sold that color, that drippy piece that I did with proper, which is like a beigey color. The much debated, I sold ruined it piece. The, remember the dresser that we did with the bright decoupage paper on the side and it was stencil with Florico and it was Salty Kiss and White sold out in the last few months. So I couldn't tell you because we sell a lot of stuff, all different kinds of stuff. And the second I think I really know. We haven't done just a, like a plain white piece in a long time. So we, we should probably try that out, see how that goes. Yep. It's almost like I'm shading it with this weathered wood, and I think I like it. No, that looks great. It actually made it look a little bit, it's very similar to the ones that we did. But you know, you got to experiment to see what you're going to get, right? So this is pretty difficult because this is like a cone and round. Um, I told you that. <laughs> you said you wanted a stencil and I was like, all right, I'm not using dark wax. This is weathered wood. So basically the opposite of a white dry brush, I'm do doing a dark gray brown dry brush. That's where we're at so far. This stencil has a lot more to give. We'll see if I can make it give it. I didn't like it when I first started, but now that I'm 
like layering it on. I like it. I need a heat gun to do the top, and then I'll dry brush that. And then I think I I'm going to distress it. I to you, but I'm, I'm busy. You're, you got some things going on over I there, sir. a situation happening. It's all right. I got this. If you're just tuning in and you'd like to buy the Peyton products and thrifted items you see here today, visit jamierayvintage.com. Commercial break. I could wet distress, but I worry that that might blend the colors, but you could definitely do that. Oh no, I went too juicy. Oh. I'm just gonna sit over here and be painting my candlesticks. It's okay, it happened on the main. I could try a wet distress though, we'll see what happens. It's only paint. The problem is the kids have absconded with all of our washcloths. I have, oh, that one probably needs rinsed. I did do a little bit of uh, wet distressing with it. Because this is cottage colors, it probably won't bring us back to the base layer. Oh, yeah, that's good. Might a little bit because the it's cottage pretty fresh. is pretty fresh. I like it. It's giving it like an old world age look. Oh yeah, we're getting down through it because it was pretty fresh. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do the top part because it's gonna be too hard around this narrow lip, but I feel like I'm winning. I like it. So this is weathered wood with white and this is white with weathered wood are you they're probably not gonna see that you did good this one is darker that you did the dry brush with with the weathered wood it's got a darker look than this on camera at least more aged on this one yeah this one's like super chippy looking i like it we'll try this one next They said, nice job, Zeb. It was tough, but you know, we powered through. All I did was basically keep the words lined up on the bottom and just kind of rolled around. That was like my point of reference, keep the bottom lined up. So because if, if I had taped it, it would have like crinkled it and made it do weird things. If we do solid white, we typically will spray it. Yeah. If we yeah. want solid, solid, because it's such a pain in the butt to try to brush it. Well, and this is stuff is all like really, really detailed and really dark based. I think I might just do like 220 grit sandpaper distress on this. Okay. Well, I think we only have 400. It's right here. Oh, I don't know. That's blue, so wipe that off. Unless you want some seed glass on it. All right. Did you distress your handles? These are going away because they're done. And that other one will wind up looking a lot like this one, so they'll be a good set. Okay. Bring that black back. Where's, oh, I need the weathered wood. Yeah, because the brush is mostly dry. Might need to wet distress this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You're going to wet distress it? Yeah, just, just carefully. Just some tasteful wet distressing? Mm-hmm. This is kind of fun on this one because you can really see the detail coming out. So it's kind of a different vibe than the I feel other like I'm getting all the white swan off and you can see the streakiness underneath. That's because the white swan is water soluble. Oh, that's... cottage colors is not. You can always just repaint it. Yeah, I think I have to touch up a little few spots. We're going to mix and this is probably going to get waxed. We're going to leave it. Uh oh, 
went over my design there. It's okay. Okay, that's gonna mostly just be distressed on top. Because I did not like the streakiness that was happening down below. Yeah, let me peel these off and we'll paint the bottom too while we're at it. And these will look a little bit different once I clear wax them because the weathered wood will get darker. So there's that. I think it looks almost like the reverse of the cement <laughs> situation. All right, one more to do. And then I'll bring them all up here so you can see them. Let's see, the shelf's done. We just need to wax this big thing that we showed them very first, the drawers. Oh, yeah. Well, and then we have those two things, but we might not get it all done. I need to eat lunch. We'll get most of it done. That might need soaked off. It's not wanting to This one is good because it had so much texture on it. So my my dry brush is picking up all the texture. Yeah, I'll have to soak that off later. I'll do that off camera. <clears throat> that looks cool. I am gonna distress these guys a little though now that they're dry. I mean, not that anybody ever looks at the underside, but I always feel like you got to flip it over and paint the underside just in case. Do you have a dry Virginia says she's had a, a sprayer for a year and she's been afraid to try it. We took us forever to use ours too, but. Mostly just because I doing a thousand things and didn't yeah, pick it up. But once we started. That's what you can say, Virginia. It, it was, you've just been busy, so you haven't had a chance to get to it. When the weather's nice, spraying is so fast, but. We still usually wind up doing some brushing because we like to do different style techniques, but I want it like darker right on the, the rungs. There we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. Um, Ta-da. I'm just going to wax the bottom portion. I think I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Because I think the top portion is so tall it goes off camera. Do you have the clear wax out? Um, yes, it's right here next to my phone. So I'm gonna use, we talked about using this zebra round brush to wax. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Right meow? Right meow. I'm gonna get all my candlesticks together. Let me move some stuff. <laughs> We've done a lot of things. It's getting a getting little crowded, crowded up in here. Over here. We've done like 20 projects. I oh, know, count them. How many have we done? I don't know. Ooh, there's a lot. I'm not moving this over there because I don't want to risk getting paint on the base, but here you go. <laughs> all right. DIY is clear wax. We talked about how we use all the dented and busted cans. There you have it. So zebra brush, just the zebra round. And then watch this, how this richens this up here. And it'll come back somewhere in between, but it's going to really make that yellow pop through. All right, I'm going to leave that on there thick. We'll come back in about 20 minutes and wipe that off. Yeah, it's like the dark dry brush is like the exact opposite of the dark with the white dry brush. So I, do, it's kind of I actually like the look better, I think. Kind of fun. It's like I feel like this is more distressed. This one is a little bit more refined. I will probably wind up doing something else on all of these. We'll show them the clock because I really want the clock. We're asking like forty-two dollars for it. I don't know if it's already sold, but I don't want to mess with it. I really want it to dry, and then I'm gonna white wax it. Ta-da! That actually <laughs> turned out pretty cool. You yeah. can see that that candlestick's not straight. Yeah, that the, the that's from the factory. Fritz, I can't fix Fritz that. and Floyd or whatever this candlestick is, they are they struggle with the straightness. There we go. All right. Are you gonna do all those? No, I don't think so. Because I have to pee. Oh, are we getting ready to say bye? Where's the shelf? Um, it's over there. Want to grab the shelf? Yeah, I'm gonna wax this though. So you can grab it. Okay. I just wanted to wax the base here and put these drawers I want, in. They can't really see these ones, so I want to show them that one. 
And then this one, you can imagine that it's going to be. It needs to dry cool. more. It needs to dry more because we did clay. I'll try to take a picture of it when it's all done. We'll, we'll get a bundle picture of it all together. There we go. Shelf. Everything got paint on it, which is like half the battle. Holy moly. I'll just hold the rolling pin. This is like the one odd out because I didn't paint it the same color as everything else. So if you like these paint and products, visit jamierayvintage.com. If you want to buy any of these items, if they're still for sale, they'll be in our Saturday Thrift Hall collection. Um, and if you have questions, comment below. I'll try to catch them later while I'm in bed binge watching some TV because I don't feel good. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, guys. Thanks for Can joining us today. Can the ones on the bottom? Hold on. They can't All right, even we're gonna see We're going to pan everything. I got to pan right. them. Got to pan there it. There we go. They're 99.9% .9 finished. You can We're getting see there. all the mess and everything. But hopefully you got some good ideas on some things you want to refinish. Maybe, uh, you know, pick your own colors that work for you and go. All right. I'm hitting end broadcast. Bye, guys. Love see you. See you guys.